You guys want to get a little closer? Come on over here. I can get out of the way. I've seen this a couple times before. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get up there and take this big picture over her shoulder. And then when I cut into the peritoneum, I tent it out. So hopefully there's nothing behind it. So she's going to pull the peritoneum out and make a little incision with her scissors. And then sometimes it makes noise. There's the partial vacuum in there. There's not, that's very little bit. She's probably lost more, less blood than a, a very bad steak. Now, are you in the peritoneal now? I am in the peritoneal. Okay, so you can't see it, but right now inside of her, you, there's jejunum, ileum, uh, cecum. Yeah. Now she's going to go in. And she's going to do her little exploratory, and then she's going to stick that hose in there and let the gas off the Abel Mason. Why is it steaming? Yeah, it was because it's warm and there's cold out here. Oh, the cat's temperature is 101.8 degrees, so you open them up. And we just went through that this morning to, to them. Now she's smelling because she should smell the like rumen smell. Um. Well, hopefully the Abel Mason will smell, which is more sweet. A room and smells yes. almost like manure. I mean, it's and the Abel Mason it's more sweet because it's acidic in the Abel Mason, so it's a different smell. So I'm smelling that smell, and so I know I'm in the right place. And when I reach over, I reach over the top of the rumen, and between the rumen and the ribs on the other side is the Abel Mason, and it feels like a big balloon. And it's, if you feel that, that's pretty much the only thing that is the Abel Mason. So she's got a really big DA. So it's going to take a little while to deflate. And it wasn't real high. You, when you also did remember, we were about halfway down the barrel number closet. Yeah, she's, made, she's inside the perineal cavity. I'm in the abdomen right now where all the intestines are. And stuff. Right, and what she's doing now is she leaned over the top of the room and found Abel Mason, stuck a needle in there, and now she's draining out the gas. So if she needs to put it back where it belongs, she needs to haul it back onto the right side. So if I don't remove the gas, it's like trying to push a balloon or a ball under water. It keeps popping back up. Now when my husband used to do DA surgeries, he wouldn't deflate them. But his forearms are a lot bigger than mine. He could just sweep them underneath and pull them up to the other side. But I can't do that. No, when you do that, when you just sweep them, pull them back up, does it just, that doesn't actually release? Well, what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm deflating it. I have a needle in, in there, and so some of the gas is running out. And then when you sweep it across to the other side, if there is gas left, it does sometimes go into the intestines. Right. <clears throat> but as you were saying, though, if you didn't deflate it, you could just pull it. it would oh, yeah. It. Then you could sit there and melt the gas out and go down to the water. Right. right. Okay. Or sometimes when things start shooting out, it <laughs> intestines fill with gas, and they like to come out the side. How quick do they feel relieved? Um, I would say by the end of the surgery, they usually look better. Okay. Their eyes are brighter. Okay. I've had some that while I'm doing the surgery, they'll be eating, you know, in an old tie cell burn. It's nice, too, to hear them eructate. Like that? Because <laughs> now we get stuff passing through the room and going into the reticulum. Through the able, able, through the omasum, and into the able mason, and some of that junk now is the relief in her. Some of it's being passed through the able mason. Yeah. And then she's probably going to go ahead, and after the surgery, is to have uh, to put some 50% uh, glucose or dextrose in her vein, IV, and so that will give her the extra sugar that she's been lacking because of a lack of digestion. Okay. You know what, you guys can put this on Facebook now and Dr. Hall will be famous. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay.
see, it is amazing that you can do surgery like this. You guys, every time you see surgery, it's in the nice, clean room in the B building. Now he's right out here in the farm. I usually stick this in my pail. I consider it dirty. Because it, it was actually in her stomach. Are you still re are you re reaching over now and still trying to push it down? Oh, now I'm reaching underneath and I'm going to try to sweep it across. Do you try to physically grab it? Um, it depends how big they are. Sometimes I can reach over the top of it okay. and sweep it across like I did with her, but some of these real big Holsteins or brown Swiss, I wouldn't be able to do that. I, I kind of grab the momentum. What was that? Oh, grab the momentum and that'll just drag That it was from. the intestine. Okay, yeah, that was jejunum. Oh, that's not good. So this is the momentum that holds all the intestines together. That would be the greater omen. No. Mm -hmm. That'd be the, that's a mesentery. The greater omentum is on the ventral. Is it still... Is it it? kind of goes around everything. Okay, yeah, that's right. I remember now. That's where the epiploic foramen is that I could never find in school. Oh, yeah, I never that know. Secret, I that secret little hole? Yeah. The epiploic foramen. So usually what you use for your landmark, they call it the sow's ear, um, but it's where the omentum looks literally like a pig ear. In her case, and I don't know if you've ever found this before, but when they've lost a lot of weight and they don't have a lot of fat in there, it's harder to identify that sow's ear. I don't know if you... I, I have never But really this would be it. her sow's ear if you did it on the oh. right side, but it's really thin usually. It's a lot thicker. And right there, is that the Abel Mason right there? Yeah, this is the pylorus. Okay, cool. See it right there? Yeah. So this is all Abel Mason. You can see there's like a little differentiation. It's whiter and shinier here. And this is pinker. <laughs> And her abomasum's kind of stretched out just because I, cause she's had the DA for a little while, and it was pretty big. You gonna be all right? Yeah, I need to do it again. So. Oh, this is the second time you've done this to us. Okay, go if you have to. If it's, if it's okay there, stay, stand there. And if you want to sit down, go into the middle. All right. Can you take her into the out to the barn there? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a pyloropexy and you sew the side of the stomach to the, their muscles.